to a new Having a Book Moment with John Wonky. Today's episode is a special memorial episode for Spain Rodriguez, who passed away recently from cancer. Spain was one of the original 60s underground cartoonists and one of the original Zap artists. In fact, in the early 70s, when I bought my first set of underground comics from a Krupp mail order, from Dennis Kitchen's Krupp mail order catalog, when I was in grade school, one of the first ones I got was Subvert 3, starring Spain's countercultural superhero, Trash Man, an anti-establishment vigilante who fought tirelessly against the, the forces of modern capitalism and the a, a tyrannical society. Um, this was great. This is great, great stuff. Trash Man was one of the greatest superheroes ever invented because he was a true countercultural hero. And these comics were wonderfully illustrated. In fact, after reading this, it inspired me to draw comics myself. There was a certain rawness to the artwork that made me think that comics were something I could do. And I, I quickly found that I couldn't draw anywhere near as well as Spain. But I think that that is one of the great things about an artist is where their artwork inspires people to create art. It's like a, a regenerative principle of creativity. Um, Spain has had a long and a wonderful career. He's done both science fiction comics, like She, the Big Bitch Anthology, which Last Gas published. There's uh, not that many of these left, so if you want one, get one sooner rather than later. This is a wonderful kind of sci-fi conspiracy graphic novel, beautifully illustrated. And He's done a huge number of true life stories. In fact, uh, one of his better books was called My True Story, which is sadly out of print. But a recent collection of his autobiographical stories, Cruising with the Hound, got published by Fanographics. This is a great uh, compilation of real life stories from the 50s. It's, it's all basically gang fights, hot rods, and teenage mayhem. And it's uh, wonderfully entertaining beautifully illustrated. Spain went from literally an outsider cartoonist in the 60s to somebody who, like Art Crumb, gained more and more mainstream legitimacy over the years. So he's illustrated things like historical books about World War II. This, all this culminated in Che, a graphic biography, a mature, sophisticated, work that's suitable for course adoptions, college libraries, or almost any form of general audience. It's the kind of career capstone that brings to mind our crumbs adaptation of Genesis in its widespread cultural appeal and reach. The last book Spain had published was a museum catalog for a career retrospective. This book, Spain, rock roll, Rumbles, Rebels, and Revolution. And this is a museum catalog for a career retrospective at, in northern New York at the, the Birchfield Penny Museum. This is a wonderful book for any Spain fan because besides some stuff that people have seen, it's filled with lots of artwork that nobody's ever seen. I thought I'd seen everything, but this has some of like his early East Village other work, some psychedelic rock posters I've never seen before, and even some mime troupe uh, illustration uh, posters that uh, I, I'd never seen before. This is a really great uh, career retrospective collection of rarities. Um, Spain also, he was more than just an underground cartoonist. He was a really good guy. He was a local, he taught comic, uh, how to draw comics courses for kids here in the mission. He was our comrade and our friend. You would see him at every comic convention. In fact, him and S. Clay Wilson frequently shared a booth together, and it was like watching the, the, the Two Stooges or something like that as he tried to, you know, rein Wilson in and babysit him and kind of keep his, his wild personality under control. He was always involved with numerous local political uh, causes and always on the right side of the issues. Um, he was a good guy, and we will miss him. Um, rest in peace, Spain. We miss you, and uh, we thank you for your work.